What's up everyone, Koru here from Game Dibs with another review to wrap up Retro Month. This is the Ninja Warriors for the Super Nintendo. Released in 1994 by Natsume and published by Taito, this is a one player beat em up game in which you can select from three different characters. You have Ninja, Kunoichi, and Kamaitachi. Kamaitachi is my favorite to use. And each of those three characters have their own special abilities and special attributes. The ninja is the strongest, but he's the slowest, and he can't jump, which sucks. Kunoichi is probably the most balanced, but she's a little too slow for my taste. And Kamaitachi is my absolute favorite. He's the quickest, not the strongest, but he is the most fun to use. Now, let's get into the gameplay. You'll see the pretty long health bar, <laughs> which uh, is really neat. You have infinite continue, so you continue as many times as you want to throughout the game. And underneath, you'll have the blaster bar. The blaster bar rises over time as you're walking around and beating up enemies. When it reaches its max, you'll see a glowing orange box. That box is your blaster explosion move. Now you can execute that by pressing the X button and it'll make a big flash on screen and it'll damage anyone who's in your way. Now there's also a, I call it a half blaster which is an attack where you're beating up on the enemy. If you hold the up button while pressing attack, you'll do sort of a half super move, or a semi super move, which will deplete half the bar. Now, the only complaint with the bar is that if it's rising and it's not at its maximum yet, if you happen to get knocked down on your ass by an enemy, well, your bar is going to deplete all the way to the end and you're going to have to start all over. Not a big deal, but, you know, minor gripe. Now, this game has standard attacks, you can jump, with the exception of the ninja, and you can block, which is a really neat feature. Most beat-em-ups don't have blocking attacks, but some do. You can't block enemies' attacks and all that shit. But the thing that makes this game stand out for me the most is the fact that it has fucking air blocking. Now, how many beat-em-ups out there do you know have air blocking? I can't name a single one other than the Ninja Warriors. If anyone out there is a video game historian, knows about beat-em-ups, please enlighten me, because as far as I know, I've been playing games for about 22, 23 years now. This is the only beat-em-up game I've ever seen in my entire life that has air blocking. And once you practice it and master it, it makes the game 10 times more fun. Now, you have two different difficulties to choose from. You have normal and hard difficulty. The only difference being that the bosses are more skilled, have extra moves, and the enemies are more plentiful. And you'll have tons of enemies to deal with on screen. Now, a lot of the enemies are pal swaps of each other, and, you know, that's fine. There's a good enough assortment of enemies to go through like this dumb piece of shit here that I just keep on kicking and he keeps getting back up. The AI, I gotta say, is pretty dumb for the most part on normal mode, but if you play it on hard, they're very smart, they will kick your ass. Now, as I said, I usually bitch and moan about one-player beat-em-ups, but that's the only area where this game is lacking, the fact that it doesn't have two-player support. It makes up for it with wonderful graphics, very nice detailed sprites that are pretty damn big compared to almost every beat-em-up out there. Outstanding music, very fun boss fights, great stages to go through. I can't say enough about the fucking music. It's it's absolutely incredible. One of my top five video game soundtracks on the SNES. Outstanding. And it has air blocking, once again. I cannot stress that enough. That's what makes this game so much goddamn fun. Once you master that blocking, the game just kicks absolute ass. So if you haven't tried this game... I'd highly recommend picking it up. It is damn fun. Even though it's one player, it is a damn fun game. Now, this game is also known as the Ninja Warriors again in Japan because it's sort of a re-imaging of the original 1998 arcade game. So if you haven't played it, I highly recommend picking it up. Hope you all enjoyed Retro Month. There will be more retro games to come, so keep your eyes peeled. And everyone out there, happy holidays, no matter what you fucking celebrate, no matter who you believe in, whether it's Jeebus or whoever. Happy holidays to everyone, and enjoy your new year. I'll be back after the new year with a brand new review. Until next time, this is Koru. Take care, everyone.